play a couple of builds. I'm not going to do the any any crazy new builds which are risky. So there's a build with... I'm just going to preface this. There is a more efficient build with Zeus than the one I'm going to show you. So take that with a grain of salt. Let's jump into it. This should work on any map. If I get Hunt, I'm going to ignore it. I'm just going to go straight for um, standard a standard build for Zeus on any map. Um, on any water map here. Um, okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to send the first four villagers over to food and we're going to build a granary and we're going to get this villager to build a dock. This villager is going to scout around. Okay, so we get this granary. Only, it's a little bit unlucky spawn with only four, uh, four berries, but it doesn't matter. So, Four villagers over onto food. And try and separate them so they're not bumping into each other is important. Immediately you want to get one villager to be... Um, or one fishing ship out so you can have 55 food here. And this is the way you go. The scout is simply just looking for pigs at this time. As many of these pigs as you can find. Always want to hotkey your scout so that you can get these... Uh, these, these pigs coming fast. The other way to do it is to use the last notification. If you ever hear the the um, the, the thing, whatever it's called, the didn't, the notification you found a pig, you can click the last notification to get there. So I'll show you what that looks like fairly soon if I find it, as opposed to jumping to my scout. Uh, so next is you need the second fishing ship. So it's two fishing ships. So here we go. I got the thing. I used the last notification. I jumped straight to where the pigs were found. So that's another way to jump to them. So the next one is we're going five villagers wood. Five villagers wood. And we're going to build a house. We build the house with our food villagers. Oh, I forgot the fishing ship. Oops. I've already stuffed this up. Should have had a fishing ship out instead of that uh, house. That doesn't matter. Getting the things in the wrong order doesn't matter. Okay, we'll, we'll calm, calm on the mistakes that I make. Oh, I'm going to have to force drop a villager because I stuffed up. You won't have to force drop a villager if you don't stuff up. But it's fine. Okay, we get more fishing ships and we're on the way. Um, these, these berries are going to finish, so if you ever find yourself in this situation, don't be afraid to just move pigs over there. Create some efficiency that way. And we're looking for another three groups of, what are these called, Mahi Mahi? They spawn in threes, the perch spawn in twos. Get an extra house out when you can afford it, making sure that you've got the the, the fishing ships building. Um, and then the next wood is going to be going into, or spare wood is going to be going into something like a temple. That's what we're after, and we can afford it. Okay, so we get more of these. And we've, we've found a lot of goat here, so that's fantastic. Um... So now we build a temple. We are looking, uh, I think the temple may have, I should have maybe gone a bit faster, but I think we're aiming to go for <clears throat> somewhere in the vicinity of a 330 or 430, 4, 445 advance time um, with this build, which is completely fine. Maybe you can go, maybe 330 is better, but this is going to be... This is going to be fine. You just cut the fishing ship a bit earlier and the temple will be up for you to advance. You can see I have the resources. We're just going to have an extra fishing ship out. Or two. Okay, well, this is the important part. When we're advancing, obviously through Athena, we put six villagers onto, uh, onto gold and the rest go onto wood. We don't need more than six at this stage. The first, uh, the first thing we're going to... We're going to be building out of the out of the upgrades. It's going to be hand axe. Oh my god, these villagers! I do not know what they want. Okay. Let's pretend like that villager wants to be working. Generally, you probably depends on the matchup. You probably want to spread these villagers out. At this point, they're a little bit a little bit awkward. 
This villager that finishes on the dock goes back to gold. So you have seven on gold. <coughs> and then we're we're good and ready to start spamming stuff. You can go if you go for this late of an advance, you probably should build three docks, but let's just pretend. So now what we can do is we can just spam triremes out and we should be completely fine to do so. And you can see we've got resources up the wazoo for everything. Everything comes in quite nicely. Um, we're aiming to do with these builds, we're not just aiming to, to win water. A lot of players simply just go for uh, sort of all in on the water. I don't advocate for all in on the water, especially for the lower levels. Have something behind this that's going to be useful. So we'll be moving in, attacking, trying to trying to get some value here. If you think you're against someone who's quite good at the game, just don't attack them. You can just sit back here with these trireme and let them come to you. Defender's advantage on water is absolutely huge. Okay, so we've got 15 villagers on wood now. So at this point, we don't really need that many more villagers on wood. 15 is fine. We're going to be able to build fairly consistently on 15. And, and it's going to be okay. Try not to get housed. I give myself a... Um, actually, I should have one villager over here being my house villager. 15 gathering efficiently is good, but they, they won't be gathering efficiently because I didn't split them up. So it's fine. Whatever. We're going to put 10 villagers over onto gold. And then we're going to use these pigs that we saved. Put this house up. And this is going to allow us to hit the heroic age at a really, really nice time. And any time they attack us, we can just drop back to our docks and be, and be fine here. <clears throat> so if they go really hard on the water, they're probably going to have maybe more trireme than you, but so long as you're playing defensive, it's fine. No need to win the water here as Zeus. I mean, you can, you can win the water and it's fine. This is a safe build. Lower level safe build. Don't have to rely on ridiculous archership micro to win the game. Get the armory up. If you ever notice yourself with a um a poor poor woodline like this, it is worth it to get uh, another storehouse here. So don't forget about those. And we got 19 trireme here. It's not like it's not a sizable fleet of units. As long as you're not throwing them away, it's going to be okay for the most part against most lower level players here. <clears throat> and you're going to see that the gold comes in perfectly for an advanced time. It's going to be like a 930 heroic age. And we up through Dionysus here. And then you can think about what you want to do here. You can go turn on to wood, get if you want to keep if the water seems like it's gonna be a difficult situation, get an extra dock up. Keep building your ships. Don't forget houses like me. And, and now you're in a really good position. You've hit Dionysus. You've got 95 of 95 population going on more, more than this. Because it's not like your production slows at any point here. 20, 25 trireme feels good to me. I, I very rarely see more than this. So, I mean, it's, it's going to be it's gonna be fine for you. And you can also get extra favor out for the extra scholar if you need it. And then the most important upgrade here, especially if it's a huge fleet and your opponent's just like not engaging you a lot, is um, is you can grab this upgrade here, arrow ship cladding, which is gonna 
essentially make your units super, super strong. And you can follow this up. Instead of getting a town center or anything like that, which I see a lot of people doing, you can follow this up by throwing your market down and trying to get Mythic Age off the back of this. So you get your Skyle, you've got everything you need here. You can move forward and you can um, essentially win win the water here with uh, with this upgrade arrow ship cladding, which gives yourself such an advantage in water fights. You also have bronze if you want to use it or you need to use it. Um, as per scene, you can grab as well once you've won the won the water, and that's sort of the gist. So if you guys find yourself being a little bit afraid of the water maps, resigning early on them, um, don't resign early. Try the strats out, see how you go, live the dream, and uh, and and such such will be life. Let's uh, buy ourselves to the uh, to the Mythic Age. Boom. The Feisters. Obviously, you're probably not going to have the resources to... Or maybe you win pretty hard because you still have Restoration and Bronze and everything else. So maybe you just win the water super super hard here. But that's the that's the general gist of a, of a Mediterranean strategy that you can implement. Um, as as Greeks, it works for every Greek player. Uh, obviously, better with Poseidon and uh, and Zeus. Hades is is fine. You can go Apollo and do the same strat. You can also go Apollo with with Zeus and get Arrowship Cladding. So it's all gonna work. Um, let's resign and move on to the next uh, the next god. Okay, so the next the next one we're gonna go over is an Egyptian build. So I I, I just wanna reiterate that these builds they come with a idea behind them it's not just blindly trying to win water you're trying to forward something else as well if you're just trying to win water um oftentimes you're gonna lose in another area um of the of the of the game um so we'll see this one here we'll do a we'll do a um because ra and ra isis and set uh, are much more defensive gods, you can actually go for a super, super defensive Mediterranean build. So what I'm going to show you is the Dock Spam from Egyptian. So you can get, I think you can get a 5 minute advance time, I could be wrong about that, it might be 5.15, um, with with uh, 5 Docks as Egyptian. So we're going to go after, actually going to ignore the boar, just for the sake of realism, because not every map you're going to get boar, every map you will get chicken or berries. Just looking for fish. I think I got a little bit unlucky with my fish here. Okay, so no fish uh, close to the shore. I would, if this was a tournament game, I would have vetoed. Because I think you're supposed to get fish. Well, you will have fish in front of you, but it's fine. And we got some fish anyways. My wood is down here, so we go here. So we're going for food, then we go for wood, then we go for gold. That is... Very easy to remember and works incredibly well. Obviously, the priest on the on the granary is going to help a lot, as opposed to for the set and the Isis plays. If you're set an Isis, you might have to force drop a little bit until your fishing ships start coming out. But as as Ra, four villagers on food is is plenty good enough to just not even have to worry about. So just be careful about that one when you're playing Isis and set. Um, set can get some hunt uh, basically guaranteed with vision and the priest converting so definitely do that as well okay I thought I had to force drop but I didn't see Rah. okay now we start building fishing ships just on loop you don't need to worry about too much more um, after you get your villages on wood, build the next dock because you're going to start floating wood. You can see I'm actually floating wood. I probably should have built this dock uh, a little bit earlier, so keep that in mind. I'm going to guess there's some fish over here. 
There should be. The fish generally spawns with nine mahi mahi on your side somewhere along this way. So that's something to keep in mind. Here it is. And then this villager can build an extra house just so we don't get housed. Because houses do take a while for the Egyptian players to build. And now with the second dock up already, we can start getting some more fish. And now we start um, eating our pigs. It's probably better to take the walking time to go to this. Actually, maybe it's not. It's only like, uh, I don't know. Do, do. Maybe it's better to move these guys back to the home base. Okay, now we build the temple. The temple goes up. As long as it goes up a little bit before 320, that's good. That's a good timing. And now as we get um, our gold, we can start building our, our extra docks. That way, if we get rushed, we're still going to have at least three docks up, four docks up. This villager will build the next one. We may actually need to build a house here. I'm going to just build it with a gold villager. And we should be able to get up fairly soon. And when we uh, get to this point, you just force drop all your fishing ships and you town belt and you advance. And that's the gist. Similar to Greek, we're going with... Well, we want seven villages on, uh, on gold. And we get our fifth dock, and everything is fine and dandy and nice and safe, and we have to stop building fishing ships. Probably over bit overdid it on the fishing ships. Um, and we're good to go. Wait, where did that... Oh, there. Come over here, this village, you can come here. Um, start building houses. And that's, that's fantastic. To add some realism, we're probably getting raided by now. So what we have to do is you have to sort of garrison your fishing ships. And what we're going to do is we're going to build cabinets into our docks. Just adding in the realism. All of our fishing ships go in. And you can see, you can essentially afford to produce from nearly all of these. And we get five out, we get one more, um, well, one more thing of them, and you should be able to just, or maybe even you can pop out right now. So, when you're popping out, just put the fishing ships on the right thing, and then hit your ungarrison button on everything. And it should just send everything back to work fairly well for you. So you don't have to think about it too much. And we're good to go. Into you. Into we got you. we got a good amount of ships here. We've got a good amount of income here for everything. Again, we're aiming to get um, somewhere in the vicinity of 15 villages on wood before we start going more onto the gold. What are you doing? Come over onto a fishing spot, hey? And we should be able to hold pretty much anything at this point. Um, maybe Zeus, like a really strong Zeus player, is going to be pressuring you and it's going to be hard. Um, but for the most part, if we just try not to fight too much and, and just fight underneath our, our, um, our docks, we'll be okay. Oh, I, my village just stopped building houses. Okay, so after we get the 15 villages on, or uh, ish, onto, onto wood, we can start, again, throwing villages over onto, uh, onto gold here. Because we're, unlike Zeus, um, unlike, unlike Zeus, we have more fishing ships, so we actually don't need to put 
more um, more villagers onto onto food. We just need the gold income if we can manage to keep it safe. Because you can see that our food is slowly going up. Into you, into you, into you, Gerig, into you, and Gerig, and Gerig, into you. This is also a trick you can do if your opponents are are really really strong and pushing in onto you and then they're trying to pull your ships into out you, into you, you can bring all into of your you, cabinets into, you, into a ball you, like this and then into hit alt you. s and then what's going to happen is when they come in to fight they're going to try and pull their ships back that are getting targeted um your ships will automatically fire and then and then um and then they're going to pull back their ships but then your ships will automatically refocus so you don't even have to micro so that's that's a little that's a little trick you can do there. You do have to be a little bit careful, and when the fight does happen, it may be worth going on to um, Alt A. If you do target your opponent's ships with your with your ships, then they will chase them. So you have to be careful about that. And you can see our gold is going to start slowly going up. And again, the point of this is getting Heroic Age uh, in order to continue in the game. And you can see the food is, is, is almost there. The gold is almost there. The armory is up. Where's the last house? In it's here. In Try not to forget to build, to build houses, but we can even cut all of these and we see how many resources we have right now. So we probably could have even less on this and get per scene as well. Um, you know, we probably have the food already in the fishing ships. If we had a better, if we had better fish, we'd probably be better off. But there we go. And now we can click advance, and it's like a 10:30 or something. So it's a bit slower than the Greek one. Um, but we have so many more resources to be to be pushing here, um, and that's generally the gist of of the Egyptians. Um, Isis is a little bit better because you can cast Prosperity to get your extra gold. Um, yeah. Uh, but the builds basically work the same for uh, for Isis, Ra, and Set. Should be basically exactly the same. You don't have to adapt too much to that. Um, all the cabinets come out. Again, not cutting edge Egyptian builds. Um, I think the cutting edge one, the one that seems to have the most success at the top level, is more of a 430 build, but it's a lot more difficult to execute. This one is nice and safe. And um, for those of you who are finding themselves losing on water quite a bit, uh, I think this is a really good build to start with um, because it's going to give you a lot of opportunities to outplay your opponent um, instead of risking it all on a build that um, uh, needs a lot of micro early. Anyways, let's move on to the next god. Oh, okay, so Oranos on Mediterranean, there's a little bit of early micro you have to do in order to make sure that you don't get villager blocked in your town center. But other than that, yeah, it's a pretty cruisy. A couple of things you have to remember um, in terms of like wood totals. So keep note of those. But in terms of the actual, um, in terms of the actual micro, there's there's a uh, there's very very little that you need to do outside of the first part of the uh, the first part here. But this villager is going to jump over onto the berries. Saving pigs, obviously. The widget comes out. We're going to get one fishing ship as soon as we possibly can. This villager goes over onto a wood here. If you don't have a wood line close to this dock, send your pigs over to this dock here to eat them. Very important. Okay, so now we just dump this. That way we get the food to get this next villager out. And you can see we're totally fine there. Once we get this wood here, we build the, the, uh, the house. And everything is hunky-dory. You can't afford to get an extra fishing ship out. This is just safer. And 
that's what I'm promoting here for these builds, for those players out there who don't want to don't want to play the water maps because they feel like everything is so difficult. And again, the next part here, force drop this fishing ship. Don't wait for him to drop it. That way we get the next villager out. We don't have to think about it. So we're going two villagers food here. Two villagers wood. The rest of the villagers are going to be going on to pigs. Okay, and we order, we're basically just going to get um, somewhere in the vicinity of six fishing ships. We're going for a 4.30 advance time. You can cut a villager and go like 4.10. And I think from memory, maybe four or five. Uji. Not sure. But we just need to keep building the fishing ship. Dump the fishing ship again. At any stage, you Get see yourself job. not at the resources to get a citizen. You need to dump that fishing ship. That's why it's important to have a good dock placement at the start. Okay, so now we need we don't need the temple just yet. We can build the temple. When that last villager comes out, this next villager, that's when you want to build the temple. I think. Yes, that's correct. Because it builds faster. Builds faster than the average temple. So you don't have to get it too early. Okay, so now we can get the temple. I'm going to get it yeah, with this villager. I'm just going to keep building fishing ships. We want to get nine fishing ships we can and hopefully we can advance and if you feel like you're struggling for food you can always uh, get this next thing out onto onto some food. now we're just going to dump every fishing ship we have boom and we should be able to advance and we advance there we go perfect it is a very tight build order, so you do have to do things very um, particularly, but it's doable. And when we're advancing, we keep pumping the fishing ships. Actually, no, we don't. We get a dock. Lol. <laughs> get the dock first, and then you can get the next two fishing ships. If you're on Mediterranean, you can go for, instead of the, instead of the, the, um, the nine fish, you can go for three docks, but I prefer... The nine fish. And you can set up this rush here. This is probably not something I'd advocate. Like if you're a higher level player, um, instead maybe sending these home is better because most people have an answer to this, but it does work very, very well. So we build a house. And you can get out an economic guild as well, but it's going to slow the rush down. When we get here, we can Valor this and we can start taking it. So that's the gist of um, of the build here. Villager goes on to gold before going on to wood again. Can build this economic guild here and just simply get our, um, our hand axe out a little bit later. And you just want to, you, you can micro here as well. You've got this shockwave you can use to like kill off stuff if you feel like you need to use it. And and there's hand axe coming through as well. A little bit delayed, but it comes through. No, not really any any much delay on the, uh, on the docks. Some small micro you have to do is, is sometimes cutting, um, cutting a barim in order to get a mana out. But just keep an eye on it. If you miss it, it doesn't matter too much. Because you're Aranos, things things tend not to matter too much if you go a little bit behind on it. But make sure you remember to get your manners. And um, and that's the general gist here for Aranos. There's not like a a grand plan for Aranos. You just need to win the water uh, as Aranos. There's not if you lose the water as Aranos, things like early or or basically at any point. Things tend to go pretty badly for you against really good players. I'm getting attacked. Um, but at this point here, you've got enough villagers to keep building um, tri uh, Barims uh, uh, as much as you want, three and six. So you can do the same thing as you do with like Greek and start going onto food and go for a, a heroic age here. Um, in fact, uh, maybe I'll show that. Um, so we'll get an extra villager onto gold and the next... 
the next villagers will come over onto onto pigs. We got the nine fish. It's exactly the same or, or very close, very similar to uh, very similar to the the Greeks. Okay. And fantastic. And we're just pumping the villagers out onto the onto the the pigs we get, and we can go next age. Maybe we'll get it pretty quickly as well. And this is if things are going like, if, if your opponents defended the rush nicely, like, which happens. He's getting the houses up. And... You can see the gold is going to slowly start climbing because we have one extra villager on gold, which is perfect. And the food is going to climb as well because we've got all the... We're, we, we basically only need like six fishing ships to, con to consistently train villagers. Maybe it's less. Uh, so the extra fishing ships are giving us extra food. Then the extra citizen we have on the food is going to help out a lot as well. And we're still consistently building these bareems. So if we're trading, it's great. Or whatever. As long as we're trading well. Don't want to be trading not well. That would be sad. And we should be able to hit the heroic age. If you have a boar, you should probably be on the boar. So let's go on to the boar. We rebuild the dock. The easy AI is too good. Okay, so now we're full, full of this. If you ever get to this situation... You can just you can just move units. On, like, this is one of those things which you can do. Oh, I need to build an armory. Okay, so we get the armory up. But you can just move villages onto different resources and get get your advance time really fast if you find yourself in these situations as well. You don't have to just keep on doing doing stuff. So this is. Something you can do. You go one of these two gods. Doesn't really matter. Um, throw down some military buildings. Get town centers. Whatever. You don't even have to go straight for the heroic age. You can get the three town centers first, and then rush mythic age is an option as well. Um, but just all different options. Don't take too much of a too much too much. Take take this strategy with a grain of salt. Uh, I think. Uh, Probably, probably the, the the meta play is generally to just get your town centers as, as Atlantia and then start putting land pressure on with Mermillo and Terma and then rush Mythic Age um, and try and hit a Tartarian Gate timing. But uh, if you find yourself having a really grueling water fight here, um, maybe going Heroic Age through Hyperion gives you the Nereid, strong unit, gives yourself arrow ship cladding uh, in order to win the water or at least hold on to it. And then you can either rush Mythic Age off one town center, which is perfectly valid as well um, as uh, for, for Atlantean when both players are spamming ships at each other because they're not going to have a lot of units to deal with a Tartarian Gate in their base. Um, or you can uh, just do... Or you can just attack with Hyperion Go, Palace, Destroyer, Arcus, and um, have a fantastic game. Let's go on to the next god. All right, so Norse is the, the more difficult god because each of these have slightly different um, early games and also I'm not very good with them. So um, I'll try and give you... I don't actually have like a solid build in my mind that I use for Norse. I normally wing it, but the general idea that I've concluded that on with Norse, you want to make sure that you get enough dwarves in the classical age. So we're going to start with with Thor, and then we'll do the other the other ones. And we're just going to show Mediterranean. Um, but the general gist is, you need the dwarves so then you can build dwarves if you have to garrison. There's been a new build that's come out recently, which is around, uh, which come, which basically comes down to the, the Thor player um, getting, getting, uh, what you call it? Getting two docks out or three docks out. I don't actually know how to do that one, so I'm just going to show you an old one, which should be enough. I'm going to throw it down a Scardy dock because for some reason I haven't spotted anything. And I'm fairly confident there'll be something in front of me. Okay. Um, 
We don't need no. to like, actually get this much wood from the uh, the the tree oh, here. No, it's just we don't need that much gold. So the initial dwarves actually gather at the same rate Did as we, initial yo. gatherers do. So putting them onto the tree actually isn't slower. Um, but you obviously would get more gold if you were gathering from it. So we're going to go three villages on wood here, and then we're going to put villages over onto pigs, including dwarves. And you can see already the dwarves are coming through, and again, dwarves don't gather slower, it's just they train a little bit slower. So... It's fine. In fact, the more dwarves you have, the better, because they actually pay for themselves. They pay for themselves, so they gather faster. So we're just looking for some pigs here. I want to find just a couple, and we'll throw down a second dock. Maybe we'll go for this... Maybe try and work out what this build is that the Norse players are, are going for here. Or maybe not. Just looking for some pigs. Hopefully we find some. Okay, apparently there's no pigs on this map. There we go. Get this house down. Keep building fishing ships. I forgot to auto queue them because I am a bad player. <sighs> Okay, so now how many dwarves do we have? We've got six dwarves. Fantastic. We can stop building the dwarves now. Or well, maybe we can keep building the dwarves. Whatever. Put the temple down, wherever. Doesn't matter. Fishing ships coming through, feeling great. Down to our last pig because for some reason there was no pigs on the map. Will these pigs get here in time? We have to build an ox cart anyway, so we're going to chuck the ox cart down and come onto these berries here. So they're totally fine. It just means we slow down this next fishing ship, unfortunately. And we're all good. Um, I probably could have advanced them, but we're just going to advance one later. Nice and safe. And we go Freya. And we come over here. You can shift these dwarves over onto the other gold mine, so when it finishes, they automatically go there. The dock comes up, the second house comes up. And all is well in the world. Except for this villager. He needs to check herself. And now the crazy part. We don't actually need that many villagers on wood as, um, as Norse. For some reason, they just gather so quickly. So we're going to start putting villagers over onto gold. Not building anything. This would obviously go raid and get bolted instantly, or not get bolted instantly. One of the two. But you can see that the, the, the longboats, look at how much resource in the bank here is Norse. So long as you keep these um these ox carts in a good position here, you're gonna be fantastic. We can even build this armory down now. Live in the dream. Man, I kind of stuffed it up a little bit, but now we got um a good amount of dwarves on on uh I think I was supposed to build some 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 gatherers here. 
Credit, but huh? now we got a good amount of villages on on gold. We, our gold's gonna start skyrocketing. <laughs> and that way we're gonna be able to make it to the next day <laughs> while pumping out units. Something. <laughs> a little bit short here, which feels bad. Yeah, I stuffed it up a little bit, so um, forgive me, but if I had two more gatherers out, which I should have had, instead of getting all the dwarves, we're totally fine here, but the um, the gold income is going to start coming up, and we're, we're, we've pumped out a decent amount of longboats, and remember the whole idea of, well generally, the whole idea of Norse is to lose the water gracefully, or if you don't lose the water, then win the game. Um, at least that seems to be the way that uh, the game's played. Uh, unless the other players make significant mistakes in the game. The other thing that happens here, I think you get favor for fighting with the longboats. So you have a lot of favor to play with, which I'm not going to be able to show off in this game. Which feels bad, but it is what it is. Why is he attacking my temple? <sighs> now, it needs to be 10 villages on wood. We've scuffed it. Maybe it needs to be more. Let's just forget that I showed you guys this build at all, but we get up to the next age. And we're in a fantastic position. Loving our life. Um... But here, here you probably would have lost the water by now. <laughs> but we do advance to the next age. Lol. <laughs> Jesus. Okay. Let's just ignore this one. <laughs> hmm. It's not bad. Like, if you do this against a lower level player, you're going to be fine. They're not going to beat you. If you jump up in the ranks, uh, things are going to get a little bit more dicey for you with this. Um, now... The big difference Yo. here that I want to show is this build idea with Loki. This is the god who actually wants to do it like this. So I'll show you how to do it with Loki if I can manage to um, manage to pull it off um, just from my brain. It's still... I haven't quite worked out the perfect way to play it, but the general idea will be there. So if you're a Loki player, take notes. First thing we do is we build our dwarves onto gold. And our villagers come over onto wood here. And we come in. And again, a dot goes down. So this build is going to work against everything except for Zeus and Poseidon, but most Zeus players are going to go Athena, and most Poseidon players are going to go Ares. So if they go those gods, then you can definitely go for this style of um, style of build. Again, four villages on f on um on wood. We're just gonna go searching. One thing we do need to find is some hunt. Very important. Or just a ton of pigs, I guess, is fine. But hunt would be preferable because it's gonna be gathered really quickly. And we just build um, dwarves as we can because, again, we need dwarves. They don't have to all go on to gold. That's the beauty of it, though. Dwarves as Loki do gather slower, but it's going to be fine. Trust me. The whole idea is setting up for later stage in the game. Okay, so again, no pigs there, which is depressing. Oh, 
And if you're playing Odin, you can kind of replicate this build. The only difference is that the ox cart... Oh my god, why is this happening to me? The villagers just don't want to work. So you can kind of replicate this build. It's just that you're going to be um, 25 uh, food, 25 wood behind. So it's essentially it's the same. I do need to build a house as well before this temple. Let's just build it. You can see we got five dwarves at the moment, so we do need a couple more still. And you can see this thing I do with the pigs, trying to make sure that they're next to where the other villagers are gathering from, so there's not a crazy amount of walking distance. And we should be able to advance at a fairly respectable 430-ish, or maybe it's a little bit later here. I got the temple up a bit earlier, or maybe it's fine, but it's a little bit later. And we go through Fawcetti. We move up here to get our dock. At any point it comes through. We should, there we go. First thing we're going to buy is obviously Hand Axe. And yes, we do have a couple of dwarves on wood here. But they will be moving their way over onto gold later in the game. In fact, this temple could probably be built forward here in this strat. But it does give away sort of what you're trying to do. Actually, not just yet. You don't build. You don't start building um, Hursa until until you have enough gatherers on wood. And here we go. So we advance, and we get our longboats out. Completely fine. Troll's gonna go scouting. We are still looking for that hunt. The hunt is important. We're going to build two um, two of those gatherers and then we're going to start building dwarves. So these dwarves can head back over here. Okay, so we, apparently we have no hunt, which is actually a nightmare scenario. Can't start building her, so just yet. But there's our boar. Very far away from our base, which is definitely not what you want. You, a shift. you have to actually have good macro for this, so you have to be shifting between dwarves and, and gatherers, making sure that they come out on time. You don't want to attack. Attacking is bad as Norse. Sitting back is good. Fantastic. Alright, great. At some point we're going to start being able to float some gold. You can see we are floating a little bit of food now as well. And let's say we get to this point here. Our opponent is like content that we're defending and they're either going to push in and kill us or they're going to sit back and just expect us to keep pump pumping ships. So we're going to stop building ships. We're going to move these these villages here onto something else. In fact, we're actually going to just use the chickens to see if this works. We're going to sack this. Let's say that this um that this fish here gets gets picked off. We're just going to keep building these dwarves. So, let's say that they play perfectly here, and they've come in, they've hit, they're hitting us, this fishing ship in here, in here, everything is coming back, okay, everything is jumping in here, okay, our longboats slowly dwindle, yada yada yada, he ha they have to keep building units, this is up now. 
We go down our barracks. These will probably die. Or maybe they don't, I'm not sure. Boom. This god power. I mean this god. And we start building our uh, We start building our 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 OP units. Thing is though, we should have we should have had ten favor. That's why it's hard to show this strat, because we should have had ten favor now. Also, we should have had some um, extra extra favor for Battle Ball. Obviously, we probably get, um, whatchamacallit, back onto wood to get the Hall of Fans as well. But I suck and didn't do that. So let's just pretend that this is the army here. I think they wouldn't have killed us by now. I think I, I think I overestimated. So now we can just essentially just move in and then kill off, kill off their units with flaming weapons. You can even get Battle Ball here. He's got Axeman. This guy's playing around my strat. This guy has more units than any other player I've ever seen. Oh, the mountain giant spawn, why not? And then the battle ball follow up, and we feel great about ourselves. Finally. We don't even need we don't even need to go um force eddy here. Why go force eddy? We could have gone Heimdall. <laughs> but you have to imagine, right? Just use your brain, imagine. What happens in a normal game? Your opponent pushes in here. With all of his fleet, he's made 20 to 30 ships to beat your 10. Maybe 20 ships to beat your 10. Yours chilling here underneath the docks. He needs extra ships to get through you. So that's, that's an extra... Uh, I can't do the math. 10, 10 ships, 1,500 resources there that you then invested in getting to the Heroic Age. He is going to be in front of you by 3, 4... Uh, nine nine villages or something like that. So then, how does he have a strong army to defend Yo. against this push? Maybe he does, maybe he doesn't. But this is, I think, Loki's best chance at winning on Mediterranean. So if you guys are Loki players, uh, give it a try and see how you go. Um, how you go with it. I didn't even have an uh, ideal map here without without the boar in the starting line of sight or close to it. The, the boar over here. Um, so. It's definitely possible for this build to be even better executed as well. That's the general idea. Alrighty. Those are the builds for the water for some 
new players who are finding water maps scary 